course I miss you, darling. This is the loneliest place on earth. Most exciting thing ever happens here is a day when it don't rain. Excuse me, darling, I got some work to do. What the heck is that? Get on in here, Pete. We got us a big ol' asteroid on a three-week collision course with Earth. has been named Attila, after the war leader of the Huns, who devastated Europe just before the fall of the Roman Empire. Attila was first spotted in a tracking station in Borneo. According to NASA sources, the probability of impact with Earth is 99%. Five, four, ignition. Boston Lowe said in the press conference last night, If the shuttle is the last hope of the human race, then it'll have to do the job, won't it? Wait a minute, folks. Let me introduce the landing team. Ludger Brink is a noted geologist. He'll evaluate our data on placement of the nuclear devices. We have to be accurate. The idea isn't to blow Attila to bits. If we did, some of the pieces would certainly hit Earth with devastating effect. And now I hardly have to introduce Maggie Robbins to you. She's probably the most well-known journalist in the world. Uh, Maggie, you're famous for having once said that you never put up with censorship in any form. Now you're under NASA command. Miss Robbins is a reporter by vocation, but on this mission she's... I think I can answer the question myself, Commander Lowe. Danny, I trained for this mission, and I have work to do in laying the nuclear charges. When I come home, I'll be a reporter and tell you all about it. But during the mission, I'm part of the team, and I will obey Commander Lowe like any good soldier. That may be the biggest news story of all. Maggie Robbins obeys orders. In going over your bios, I find that Professor Brink is also a noted archaeologist. While it's well known that Maggie is a prodigy at learning new languages, is this just coincidence? Not at all. We wanted the best and the brightest for this mission. Dr. Brink and Ms. Robbins are not narrow specialists. They are resourceful, widely educated, and creative thinkers. Does that apply to you too, Commander Lowe? My job is to keep everybody alive. I don't have to be bright, I just have to be careful. The other two crew members will remain with the shuttle. Ken Borden is the most experienced shuttle pilot we have. Cora Miles is our payload specialist. As you all know, she's a candidate for Congress, but we figured saving the planet is more important than campaigning. It's cheaper, too. <laughs> Any parting message for the people of Earth? We have exactly one chance. And we've got to do it right. Let all your prayers be with us. Robin's here. 
Going independent. Welcome to the wonderful world of space. Don't bump into anything. <laughs> I'll be careful, Commander. Brink here, going independent. Howdy, Brink. Welcome to the place where geology and astronomy meet. A professor once told me, astronomers are geologists with clean hands and a squint. You going to quote him on that in some magazine, Robbins? I'm just part of the landing team right now, Commander Lowe. It's the pig. Payload Specialist Miles needs to use the remote arm to release it. Robbins, this is low. Do you read? Robbins here. I read you. Getting anything juicy for your first article? I'm not writing my article right now, Commander Lowe. Have you looked up at the Earth yet, Robbins? Oh, is that big blue thing the Earth? What do you think of our archaeologist, Brink? I'm very impressed with his experience. He headed the U.S. Geological Survey team that mapped the surface of Venus. He'll be taking a close look at the asteroid to make certain the detonation points they've chosen are suitable. See that big tool chest? We call it the pig. I've logged a hundred hours working with every tool in the pig, Commander Lowe. Everything okay with the pig? As far as I can see, Commander. interesting stories. Everything okay with the pig? Everything's fine as far as I can see, Commander. Miles can tell you more than I can. Are you getting a good look at the asteroid, Brick? I have hardly looked at anything else, Commander. Happy to set foot on a new world, Brick? Attila is a very old world, Commander. It is merely new to us. Low out. This is low. Do you read? Robbins here. I read you. This is all pretty dull so far, Robbins. I hope you can find something interesting for your lead. Commander Low, am I doing something wrong? No, I'm just trying to be friendly. And I'm trying to be a good crew member. Can't you forget for even one second that I'm a reporter? Low out. It's the pig. Payload specialist Miles needs to use the remote arm to release it. Miles, this is low. Do you read? Yeah, 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 Boston. I'm on you. You, you wish. wish. In, In your, your dreams. <laughs> Ready for the deployment of the free fall tool chest. Is the crew clear of the area? Crew is clear. Proceed.
satisfying with the pig, Cora? Looking sweet, Boston. You just be good to my baby. Load a landing team. I'm taking the pig down to the surface. Follow me. You be good to my baby, Boston, you hear me? We'll be back soon, Cora. Try not to miss me too much. Blow out. It's where explosive alpha should be placed. It's where explosive alpha should be placed. Let's see if we can clear up old Attila's complexion. Nice and smooth now. Placing charge two on target site. Negative, negative, boss. It's alpha charge that goes there in quadrant two. I hear you, Ken, I hear you. We rehearsed this thing a hundred times and I still managed to blow it. That's why you still need us up here, hero man. That would have been a catastrophic error, Commander Lo. I noticed you didn't catch the mistake either, Brink. I didn't think I had to check up on the commander of the mission. Everybody checks on everybody, Brink. But don't worry, I'm sure Robbins will write a whole article on my bonehead mistake. It's our mistake. I didn't notice it either, Commander. And it was caught in time. That means the system worked. Thanks, Robbins. Shuttle, this is low. We're placing the explosive in quadrant two. Acknowledged. Could you give me a hand with this break? I'll be right there, Commander Low. Excellent work, Brink. Ken, the charge is set. Instruments confirmed. Hey, I'm just so proud of you boys. right where I need to plant the nuke.
Guess what, boys and girls? Using the zero-g digger on this boulder is gonna work just as well as trying to move a sand dune with a teaspoon. We better think of something else. Better find out what Mission Control suggests. Mission Control? I'm not calling Houston until I'm sure there's nothing we can do. Just think for a minute. Cora, Kent, I'm jamming the shovel in under the boulder, then using maximum down thrust to pry it up. Does that sound workable? Well, I'm a little short on data about the tensile strength of shovel handles in zero-g under maximum thrust conditions. In other words, who knows, it might work. Boss, be careful. If the handle breaks, maximum down thrust will smash you right into Attila. You know the saying, whether the stone hits the glass or the glass hits the stone, it ain't gonna hurt the stone. Thanks for the encouragement, Ken. Frank, if this actually works, the boulder's going to come flying straight at you. Better fly clear. Thanks for the warning. Looks like it worked. Now aren't you glad I made sure the tool chest had a shovel in it? My rule is, if you can pick it up, take it with you, because you never know when you might need it. I have the same rule, Cora, but I thought it only applied to women in bars. If you can pick her up... <laughs> <laughs> Careful, Ken. You don't want to find yourself getting quoted as a sexist pig in Maggie's article. I'm not here to spy on you. Lighten up, Robbins. They're just teasing you. If they thought you were really a spy, they'd never talk freely on the open frequency. Shuttle, this is low. Now placing the explosive on the face of the asteroid in Quadrant 3. Yeah, acknowledged. I need another hand here, Brink. Of course, Commander. Let's head back to the shuttle, folks. It's not my fault, the buttons were sticky.
I can pilot a shuttle better. It's not my fault, the buttons were sticky. I can pilot a shuttle better. Miles, come in, Miles. Miles here. Everything okay with the explosive score? They're ready to pin the tail on Attila. Just make sure you tie them down right, Boston. Everything fine with the pig, Cora? Looking sweet, Boston. You just be good to my baby. I'll miss you when I can't take you with me on missions like this. Uh, don't get sentimental on me, Boston. Besides, there won't be any more missions like this. Low out. Robbins, this is low. Do you read? Robbins here. I read you. You may write all kinds of deep intellectual stuff, Robbins, but I'll bet your paper runs a picture of the explosions on the front page. We always lead with pictures of car crashes and explosions, or people like you will never pick up the paper. Low out. Robbins, this is low. Do you read? Robbins here. What is it? Low out. Charge are both doing fine, Commander. Low out. Let's head on back to the service, folks. I hope we finish up this time.
This asteroid has a pair of landing lights now, kids. Stick a fork in us, we're done. Who writes your material, Commander? I get it all out of the newspapers, Robbins. Let's head back to the shuttle and watch Attila do the old fire dance. No. and fissures, but the asteroid will hold together, and the tiller will move into a more or less stable Earth orbit. You did well with the pig, Brick. I have no trouble doing menial tasks when it's necessary, Commander. If the radioactivity's at safe levels, you'll have a chance to explore the surface afterward. That's what I'm here for, Commander Lowe. To be the first to explore and report on the geology of a new moon. 
They couldn't have chosen a better man. I was the appropriate choice, yes. That's why I was willing to interrupt my work in order to take part in this expedition. Low out. This is low, do you read? I'm here, boss. Both nukes are in place and armed. We made pretty good time, I think. Looks good, boss. Come on back inside for the fireworks. Confirm everybody inside. All in, Cora. All clear payload. All clear, landing team. All clear, shuttle. Confirm doors closed. Doors closed. Explosives armed. Houston gives us the go ahead. Same win, boss. Do it. Now let's see, is it the big green triangle or the little red circle? Shut up and push, Ken. My baby's getting impatient. Here we go. We have detonation, Alpha and Beta. What are the instruments showing? Nothing big coming our way. What's the big telling us, Cora? Attila's still in one piece. Hmm. There's a lot of seismic bounds, some, some fracturing. We're stable again. The radioactivity in Quadrant One is well within the safe range. What does Houston say, Ken? Everything's go for a surface walk and your option. Then let's go, landing team. Let's see what Attila looks like after plastic surgery. Be careful, kids. Attila is more dangerous now than before we tamed him. Those were certainly profound first words to speak on Earth's new moon. I'm not making speeches, Robbins. I'm concerned about keeping everybody alive. Commander, I can collect rock samples later. Right now, I would like to get below the surface down into that tunnel. We're gonna do it eventually. We might as well do it now. You agree, Robbins? I'm game for it. I've called the pig. We'll send it on ahead to light the way. Remember, any rock may be loose, and any wall may collapse at any time. Please be careful, everyone. Cora, send down the pig, please. We'll need the light. unusual break? It's hard to determine how this tunnel was formed. It wasn't created by the explosion? No, no, it's very ancient. The explosions opened the door, but this tunnel... Old, but not as old as the asteroid. What does that mean? I don't know yet. It just feels... unnatural. There are some odd projections near the bottom of this tunnel that don't seem to belong here.
It's the pig. I can't go any further down this chasm. I think you're right, Brink. The stone projection isn't natural. Yes, but what is it doing here? Brink, I wish I knew what these odd projections are. I've taken pictures of them for analysis. Look at this, Brink. This can't be natural. Definitely not. A metal plate. Definitely an artifact. An artifact? But who could have put something like this in a tunnel? Yes, yes. I think it's clear. Wherever Attila came from, there was someone there. Could this be part of some kind of message? Like the one NASA put in Voyager. If it's a message, I don't understand it. Whatever it is, we've got to tell Houston immediately. Negative, Robbins. I'm clamping down total security as of this moment. You've got to be kidding. You've been telling me all along you just want to be an ordinary member of the mission. I've had secret orders all along to look for any sign of alien presence on this rock. And now that we've found it, my instructions are clear. And what I want to hear from both of you right now is, I understand, Commander Lowe. I understand and agree, Commander Lowe. There is nothing to be gained from a premature announcement. Robert. I understand, Commander Lowe. Ken. Ken, Lowe here. I read you, boss. Tell Houston that I said Attila's a real hunt. What? Is that some kind of joke? Just tell them, Gordon. You'll receive new communication protocols immediately afterward. Oh, cool. This is like a secret code. Just thank Cora. You're the only one in Congress who knows anything about this. Houston says the message is received and they're transmitting new codes. We're getting back to work down here, Ken. Hello, Al. I'm giving this baby a little push. If that doesn't work, Commander, give it a big push. The plate just dropped down inside something. The plate is gone? It's a small, dark opening. I can't you it won't do anything. There's no way to get leverage with this thing. I can't use these two things together. It's a small dark opening. It's a small dark opening. I can't use these two things together. I wish I knew what these odd projections are. I've taken pictures of them for analysis. It's the pig. It's the pig.
I may be criticized for it later, but I'm gonna dig out one of these odd projections. It's your decision, Commander. another one. I wish we could be sure we weren't destroying whatever message they meant us to receive. It seems to me that if they didn't mean us to push these metal plates, we wouldn't be able to push them. Frank, I wish I knew what these odd projections are. I've taken pictures of them for analysis. Another metal plate. I wish there were some sort of inscription. Here's number three. It disappeared too. Well, here goes nothing. small vent leading back to the outer chamber. Shallow indentation set into the raised platform. 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 It won't do anything. I can't use it won't come. I can't use I can't use these two things together. These plates probably fit together, but how? Shallow indentation set into the raised platform. Shallow indentation set into the raised platform. These plates probably fit together, but how? These plates probably fit together, but how? Shallow indentation set into the raised platform.
It's a small, dark opening. in a bottle, but never in a big rock. save the remaining oxygen for the return trip. If there is a return trip. The air tastes good. Hmm. Surprise, surprise. Attila was a spaceship all along. A starship, faster than light. We're not in our own solar system. No planet but Earth has an atmosphere like this, and this ain't Earth. After so many years of bad TV shows and crackpots with phony pictures, here is the real proof. There is alien life. Load a cockpit, over. Load a payload, over. Yeah, I'd say we're out of range. Way out of range. I don't see any aliens coming to greet us. For all we know, it might have been a million years since these people sent out Attila, and they long since died out. I don't know about you, but I didn't pack a lunch. Or a can of pop. Well, we might as well look around and learn what we can about this place. We might be here a while. <laughs> 